Today we are trying a brand new foundation. This one is from One Size Beauty. They sent over this beautiful box with their new foundation, Turn Up the Base. They sent me three shades. We're gonna see which one is our perfect match. This is what the foundation looks like. It is absolutely gorgeous. On the card, it says that this foundation is made with 16 clean ingredients. It's weightless, long wear, full coverage, soft matte finish, waterproof and sweat proof. This is their Turn Up The Base Full Beat Liquid Foundation. Immediately looking at the shades, it does seem like they have a good selection of neutrals and there's quite a few dark shades to choose from. This is what the bottle looks like. It is absolutely gorgeous. And they also sent over a sponge. So if you wanna see how this looks on dark skin, then just keep on watching. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Lakeisha and on this page, I post beauty, skincare, hair, and lifestyle. And if that is something you're interested in, make sure you are subscribed. Without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> First of all, my lips are feeling super dry, so I'm going to condition them. This is actually a lip balm that I've been using. This is the Lip Shoo Shoo Lip Softening Balm. It's from a brand called EDM. It's like a lip conditioning treatment, both a gloss and a conditioner, which leaves your lips feeling so amazing. I've been using this constantly, especially as I'm filming and talking because my lips get super dry, but I love putting this on before doing my makeup. I wanna give this foundation a good shot. So I'm gonna prep my skin as I normally do I'm using a hydrating toner. As far as I'm concerned, it seems like this foundation is a water-based foundation, which is my favorite types of foundation. It reacts really well to my skin type when it doesn't really clog my pores. And of course we need a sunscreen. This is the one from Naturium. This is their Dew Glow Moisturizer. I would say that this is more for people with combination, normal and dry skin. If you have oily skin, I think it would just be a little bit too much. Okay, let's figure out which one is my shade. I'm gonna test them out on my chest. Okay, so here are the foundation shades. We have Dark Deep 25, we have Dark Deep 65, and we have Deepest 15. I'm definitely going for this one. I think that this one would be the closest one to me. I'm gonna prime my skin using the Secure the Blur Makeup Magnet Primer, also by One Size Beauty. I'm a girl who loves a nice dew, but there are certain areas that I want a little bit of a blur. It's a bit lighter, but I feel like I can do something really nice with it. And of course, my spatula method. So let's see. Okay, that is beautiful. Hmm. It's a really nice color. It is definitely feeling lightweight. I don't really feel like there's anything on my face, which is nice. It spreads very evenly on the skin. I'm going in with the sponge that they sent over. Let's go and tap that in. I like how the sponge is large. It lets you cover like such a big surface area. I feel like that sponge just took everything off my face and I love sheer makeup, but that's a little too much. So I'm gonna actually use a uh, a brush and stipple that into my skin. This is the MAC 170S brush. Let's stipple that. Okay, nice and lightweight. It's blending into my skin quite well. I think this applies 10,000 times better with a brush. And I like how this is blending out really quickly. It's not really taking much effort to get it to melt into my skin. So now I'm going back in, I put it on a particular areas and I wanna see how it covers it. So here we go. Stipple, stipple. Okay, I'm liking the coverage. It is building quite well. It still hasn't covered up these little dark spots right here. I feel like it kind of just wiped off of it, but it doesn't look like I'm wearing very much foundation at all, which I do like too. Immediately, I feel like with this foundation, you have to wear a decent amount. Otherwise, it doesn't really give you that much coverage, but on this side, I did put a bit more foundation and it looks pretty perfect. I think that's really pretty. What do y'all think? I also want to see how it plays with some other products, so I'm putting on my concealer. This is the Yves Saint Laurent All Hours Precise Angles Concealer in the shade DW4. And we're just going to add this to the highest point of my face. Now, I really want to see how this sponge works with this. 
these really interesting contours should make it easier to blend out your concealer. So let's do that. Okay, that just disappeared right into my skin. The sponge feels very soft. I have a beauty blender, so in comparison, the beauty blender kind of feels very porous. This one is more smooth. Very, very smooth. Not porous like the beauty blender. I like what angles. It helps me get into the corners. And you can turn it on its side and get a very small, very sharp shape to get right up under the eyes. So I like that too. I also want to see how the sponge blends out my contour. This is a Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick in the shade Deep Dark. I'm just going to add a little bit of color here. Okay, so immediately it's blending out really quickly. I mean, you can't really go wrong with this Makeup by Mario one because it is just so creamy. But the sponge is blending out very nicely and making it look super natural. It is picking up a bit of that concealer though, unfortunately, that I had put down. I think it has a good shape as well to fit right here in this contour. Okay, so with that done, I'm going to finish up the rest of my face and I'll be right back. Okay, so here is the final look. I think it looks really, really pretty. It's reflecting light. It was super easy to blend out. I love how it just melted in with all of the other products that I was using on my skin as well. I did tone the foundation a little bit using the One Size Beauty uh, Turn Up The Base Press Powder. This one is in the shade uh, Deep 3R, and I just lightly pressed this over the skin, and I think that really helped it blend out a little bit better as you can see the color looks so much better with my neck so using these together superb so first of all i do like the sponge i think it's going to take a little bit of getting used to just because of the shape not my favorite for the foundation though i found that it really picked up the foundation that was on my face but this is great for blending out your contour as well as your uh concealer i do love the shape of this for that the foundations themselves they're very creamy i did not expect it to be as creamy as it is but it's incredibly creamy it doesn't feel heavy it feels incredibly lightweight it's blended out so evenly on my skin and as you can see the finish is gorgeous now i have a long day today so we're gonna wear this and we'll see what that looks like it is currently it's 11 20 right now i'm gonna be wearing this for the rest of the day and i'm gonna check back in to show how it wears throughout the day i have a lot to do i'm gonna be outside in the sun sweating running about so let's do some errands and see how this lasts you always make me feel like I'm gay okay. You never leave my thoughts alone Yeah, okay. you You're the reason I'm going out of my mind I just can't stop thinking about you Take it away, take it away Feeling too good to me It's a little bit of shine That's on my forehead here And a tiny bit right here as well It's not crazy But I also did powder there's no separations yet in my lines, so that's good. Everything looks pretty okay, just a little bit shiny. Well, first of all, the foundation is still on my face. It's still, it's giving good coverage. Although some of my oil is peeking through, it hasn't melted any of the foundation, which is really nice. My forehead is, as you can see, shining galore, but it's still like a natural sheen. It doesn't look super oily. It says this is supposed to give a soft matte finish. I feel like this is giving like skin, like a soft skin finish. That's what I feel. Look at the skin. It still looks really, really good. Now I do know if you want like a full, you know, face that doesn't budge, doesn't move, you'd need to put on more makeup than you think you do. But for someone like me who does love sheer makeup, I think that this turned out really good. It doesn't look crazy. I'm going to touch up my face. We're going out for date night, so I'm gonna continue wearing this for a few hours, but I'm just touching up my face. This is some oil blotting sheets. Let's get that, yeah. Wow, look at all that oil. That is a lot of oil coming through. But it isn't budging any of the makeup. Like, that's beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna need a few of these. Four blotting sheets is what it took to fix my face. I'm going to lightly dust my face with this. Only on areas that it's needed. I'm using an eyeshadow brush. 
just to dust it in but even still just like looking at the crease lines like my smile lines they usually crease really really bad around this point but they look fantastic i cannot complain like when i say touch up it's literally just oil just to get rid of some of the shine it has not budged at all then i'm going in with a little bit of their pressed powder just to add a little extra coverage my blush has completely disappeared, so adding a little bit extra blush. This is the MAC Rosy Desert Glow Play Blush. I'm saying it really slow because I always mess up the name. And I'm putting the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Glow Blush right on top. Just to set my blush and hopefully it doesn't disappear for the rest of the night. I usually touch up my makeup in the day, so I feel like giving this foundation a fair shot would be me touching it up as well. Okay, so that's what we got going on right now. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I'm liking this so far. I will check in with you guys in a few hours to see how it's holding up. So it's the next day. I just wanted to come on here and give a little overview of my thoughts on this foundation so last night we went to a corn maze and here in alberta like it's been super crazy with the wasps so i actually got stung on my arm i was really just not feeling like going in front of the camera at the end of the day i was in so much pain i'd never been stung by anything in my entire life this foundation is a gorgeous foundation overall i have to say that it looked amazing on my skin and it was super hot yesterday it was like 30 degrees I was not melting. My face was just fine. It touched up really well. I like that the coverage is buildable as well and it just made your skin look and feel like skin. It did not feel heavy. Um, I did. I do tend to wear my makeup a little bit more on the sheer side, but I still did like how it appeared. I think the color selection is fantastic. There are 36 shades if I'm, if I'm correct. I think the ingredients in here are fantastic. I do want to do a comparison with this and my favorite uh foundation the one from house lab so stay tuned for that video and as for the sponge i love the shape of it to use for your concealer and your contour i just didn't really find it did very much for me with the foundation i felt like as i was applying it it was picking up a lot of the product maybe i need to use it more but i love it for the concealer it gets right under the eyes you can really squish it and get it right there and around the nose i really enjoyed this for concealer and contour i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i did making it comment down below and let me know your thoughts have you tried this one will you be trying it i would love to hear your thoughts on that go ahead and click over here to see some of my previous videos and as always stay fabulous stay gorgeous and i will see you in my next one bye